Today we are going to talk about TrueBit protocol that aims to expand the computational capacity of Ethereum blockchain. But before we start, let me just say that I am not a financial advisor. I have read no books on financial advice, but I have done my masters in economics and using my knowledge and enthusiasm for crypto, I just want to share my understanding with you. So remember, how you choose to invest is your own decision and this video is for education purpose only. So let's start. TrueBit protocol has been in the works for more than 4 years now and the team has quite recently, quite secretly, just launched their token on Uniswap. The creator of TrueBit protocol is Jason who is a PhD in mathematics alongside Christian who is the lead developer on the Ethereum coding language Solidity. There have been a lot of talks on Reddit where people are asking questions and the team doesn't reply or the replies are very delayed which makes me think that maybe the team doesn't care about marketing or the price of the token and are just busy building it. You can find highly detailed videos and technical papers of Truebit all over the internet. What made me interested in Truebit that it is backed by Coinbase and the creator of Ethereum Vitalik Buterin helped them build it. Ever since Ethereum was launched in 2015, there have been concerns of scalability and the exorbitant gas fees on the blockchain. These issues are being addressed by many layer 2 solutions like Polygon, formerly known as Matic, Scale, XDAI, just to name a few. But what is different about Truebit than these other scaling solutions is that Truebit doesn't just aim to increase the number of transactions per block. What it aims is to perform complex computations on the blockchain like machine learning which requires gigabytes of data processing to take a decision which is hardly possible on the blockchain presently which has only 20 to 30 KBs per block and can process 70 transactions at a limit. TrueBit protocol can also be used to work as an oracle like Chainlink where you can store and run programs like face recognition, process huge chunks of data like the ones used in traditional finance sectors, hospital data sets, online gaming like Fortnite and many more. All of this would not be possible on the current Ethereum base layer. So how does it do it? TrueBit protocol uses optimistic rollups. If you don't know what optimistic rollups are, let me just explain it in short. Optimistic rollups comes from two words, optimistic, which means only the bare minimum information is put on the blockchain. Rollup comes from the word rolled up, when the results from the layer 2 are bundled together in a roll and transferred to the base layer in a single transaction. What this does is, it increases the number of transactions per block and allows for storing and running heavy functions on the blockchain like the ones we already covered. Ethereum will finally match or even surpass Visa with the number of transactions processed per second. Imagine how valuable this makes the network and puts Ethereum way ahead of all other smart contract blockchains. Optimistic rollups are also used by Matic, the current leader in layer 2 solutions but without the verification game used by Truebit. This is my first video. If you like these kind of videos, please show my research some love and press on the like and the subscribe button and tap the bell icon for upcoming videos. Now let's move ahead. Next we see where all can TrueBit protocol be implemented. The first is point of sale payment system. With instant transfers, fast checkouts and no risk of settlement failure, the network can be used for micro payments and daily transactions. In the future, using TrueBit, gas fees can be as low as one tenth of a cent, which practically makes it free to use the network. Second is digital assets. NFTs are a huge trend right now. People like Snoop Dogg, Gary Vee, LeBron James, all releasing their NFTs. This craze is not dying out anytime soon. And the key for NFTs is ownership. Whether or not the ownership exists on layer 1 or layer 2 matters little to the people. Even in gaming industry, placing the assets in an optimistic roll-up layer 2 allows the game to support instant free transfers and high throughput that a game demands. Developers can even avoid paying minting fees unless the user chooses to withdraw to the layer 1. The third is Decentralized Finance or DeFi as we know it. Micropayments rely on high throughput and low cost to be viable. 
Using optimistic rollups, it would allow DeFi protocols or decentralized browsers like Drave to distribute bad tokens with no gas cost to their users. The fourth is the bridge between Dogecoin and Ethereum. Truebit is like the Polkadot parachain alternative to Ethereum, connecting all blockchains to Ethereum through its platform. Truebit makes interoperability or cross-chain between two different blockchains a possibility. This way, you would have to rely on centralized exchanges to shift your tokens from one blockchain to another. Fifth is to work with IoT devices. Smart devices like your smart fridge or even sensors can directly record on Ethereum through Truebit as soon as the action takes place. For instance, imagine if a cargo truck passes by a certain road. It will automatically be recorded through the sensors on the Truebit chain and eventually on the Ethereum chain. In conclusion, there are many possibilities that come to mind with the use of Truebit protocol. The project shows promise and I for one have high hopes with it. This might as well be the best project of 2021. It's an ecosystem, not a DAP. My last parting thought would be a sage advice that you should conduct your own research and I have left some relevant links in the description box below. Please go through them. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This is all from me today. I will see you in my next video.